Hi, this is Paul Palmer. And today I want to talk to you about prioritizing effort. Now, you probably know that the, the Pareto principle, but if you don't, well, it's a case of setting up the actions that need addressing in a list. You bring them into um, a bar chart and the first thing you do is to put them in priority, in line, for the, the most frequent to the least frequent. And what you usually find is that 80% of the issues are in the top 20%. So then you focus on the top 20% to identify the problem, the root cause, and use that to actually put the effort in and fix 20% of the problems, but with 80% of the benefit. Now, there's different ways to set this up. But often you find that 80% of the 20% of the effort result gives you 80% of the results. So, for example, if you're allocating your time, then consider when your most effective time is, because often you'll find that there's a 20% time when you'll get your maximum output. Now, I find this for me is late morning, early afternoon, and I find that if I want to get the most done. The most important part of the day actually is before that to set myself up ready to do, ready to do the activities in that time, to set myself up so that I'm actually at my most effective, I suppose is probably a good way to put it. And what, I, what I've realized over time is that first thing in the morning when I wake up, which is, is when some, some guru, some um, uh, coaches have said, well, get up an hour early and you'll do more because there's nobody interrupting you. Actually, I find I'm at my least effective. So I used a tool um, from a company called, uh, uh, nope, can't remember. I used a tool that was, was actually used to measure my performance. Um, uh, uh, get Leverage. They have a, an app. And basically what you do is you tap and it measures the number of taps. Um, their product then recommends over a period of time when it is that you should actually be spent, when you are most effective. And like I said, my most effective is mid to late, it's this late morning into mm, early, af late afternoon. Um, evening, I get, have another burst again. Um, and using your most effective times to do your biggest um, result generating activities. So your finances, you're sending your invoices out. Well, is that really something that's most effective? Well, you do need to do it, but I find doing it first thing or last thing is, is appropriate because when you want to deliver something for the client, you want to actually maximize the results. You want to give them the best result possible. Similarly, if you're manufacturing, if you're looking at ways to improve a process, well, allocate the time when you're at your most effective to do your root cause analysis. Don't do it when you just had a lunch and you're on the dip. Most people have a dip between 30 minutes and what and 90 minutes after lunch. I know I certainly do. And it's a dip in energy and then it reverts back up. Now, actually, I've managed to improve that by changing the profile of what I'm eating, nutrition, but that's another story. So if you want to make sure you get the most out of your day, monitor your own performance. Monitor when you get the best results, the highest, best use of your time. If you find that you can get more results, more batches out by putting the, get, preparing them all in your slow time, in your least efficient time, and then doing them in a fixed time, and then documenting them in your logs and things afterwards, then you'll find you'll get the best results from your day. Similarly, if you're doing a root cause analysis for a deviation, don't do it when you're snoozy. Don't do it after you've had a high intensity period of work, because you go from high intensity to low intensity, to high intensity, to low intensity. Think about circadian rhythms. We go like this. Our performance is up and down, just like a circadian rhythm. 
that's because our body works like that. That's what circadian rhythms are about. It's about, in pre, it's about fluctuation in performance. So don't expect to be 100% all day. Nobody is. They might say they are, but they're kidding themselves because they've already had a drop in performance if they really feel that they're 100% all day. Think about your time, plan how you're going to do it, and consider how the 80-20 rule applies to you. Okay, it's Paul Palmer. Talk to you soon.